Well, I'm John Christensen, eldest brother. <laughs> I'm Sawyer Christensen. I'm the middlest brother. <laughs> the younger one of this business, anyway. Oregon Trailer is a business we started in 2011 um, to get out of the work we were doing and to have more fun with life. We built our own two teardrop trailers in 2007, and uh, we looked at each other at the end. We both had great trailers. Mine was too much wood, his was too much metal, and we were like, hey man, we could build the perfect trailer together. We work seven days a week, and um, it's always in the shop. We never get to get out and play, so we're gonna go out and play today. We're gonna have a great time. Overland camping's great because you can get places that otherwise you never are going to get to see. We're trying to hit Waldo Lake, and uh, one of our favorite campgrounds of all. And we got up there, it's Labor Day weekend, it's packed to the gills, nothing. And so we thought, okay, there's, uh, there's some cool stuff north of here, guaranteed. So we hit a back road and found a place that uh, we think is just even better by a long shot than what we were hoping to get in the first place. You can get places that uh, most people don't get to. You know, you lots of rocks and roots and ruts and uh, all the things make a, make it fun. Actually, you know, a little bit of challenge actually improves things. That's what uh, that's what makes it a great weekend, I think. You put in a little extra time up front. You try to build the structure, keep it solid. Throw a match in there, and your fire goes up. And then an uh, hour later, you start adding stuff to it. And you're good to go. Everyone kept saying, you're not going to make it there, <laughs> which we knew we would. Um, but, you know, people see you towing a trailer, and uh, especially a, a towing a trailer with a big van. Uh, one of the vehicles are like, no, you better turn around. Guys on quads passing and stuff saying, not, not, turn around, turn around turn go around. back, go back. And a uh, little did they know. We've always been tinkers our whole lives. Our dad, I, I'm trying to remember, I, maybe I was three or four when we got our first workbench. You know, for Christmas, we'd come down come down yeah. the stairs and there was a, a present wrapped all the way to the ceiling. In a sheet, I thought it was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Open it up and it was a workbench with a power drill. Yeah. You know, the old Black & Decker cord, corded power drill, you know, and here we just drill holes through that bench all day long. Uh, as a cabinet maker, I learned a, a ton. I learned from, from normal woodworkers, I learned from boat builders, like everything that I know I've, I've just taken from, from a wealth of knowledge from other folks. The important parts are materials, material quality, and craftsmanship. Um, and the more work you do up front, and the cleaner things come together, um, really you get the feel of payoff. It took two years to build our first prototype, and we just really hammered out the right and the wrong ways to do things, and asked a lot of questions, and talked to pros in, in uh, all industries. And uh, I think 
come to the end of it, the time and, and um, effort we put in really paid off. Where are we right now? Salt Creek Falls. We drive by this every year on the way to Waldo Lake. And always just get little glimpses, you know, and say, well, one day we should take a look at that. But, uh, man, how dumb is it to have not stopped here every time? That is awesome. Yeah. 